So I thought I'd introduce you to a new friend of mine today. It's a new neck brace. Sporting it. Casually stopping me from speaking because I've not put it on properly. Um, yeah, look at that bad boy. That's more effective than the other one. It's actually keeping my head up. You'll see I can actually have my head at a sensible angle, whereas the other one was a bit cosy. It was like a pillow. It was nice and soft. But it wasn't actually doing anything. <laughs> but this, I think, oh, it's coming undone. <laughs> I've done it up properly. A sec. The power of my chin is too strong for Velcro today, clearly. Yeah, there we go. So this would be better for kind of speaking engagements and stuff because it means it'll actually keep my head upwards and then I can tilt my head because my head is going sort of forward and to an angle so I can actually it's lifting it enough that I can do the tilt myself so I can kind of get it quite straight which is quite good I'm quite pleased with that it's not the most beautiful looking thing I might have to bedazzle it put some gemstones on it or something but um, it does the trick and it's hopefully going to help get my muscles back into some sort of working order so I had my consultant's appointment this morning and this afternoon it seemed to um, go on for quite a long time. Uh, I had some physio, they looked at my MRI results and said that actually it's not Parkinson's related. It could be linked to Parkinson's potentially, but it's something that people get separately and uh, not a lot of people with Parkinson's get it. And um, what it is is that your muscle thins and is thinner, so the muscle on this side of my head is thinner on my neck than on the other side. So um, it's pulling in the wrong direction. And there is stuff they can do about it, but I just need to see a muscle consultant rather than my Parkinson's specialist. So um, until then, I'm just going to keep powering through with the neck brace, trying to stretch the muscles in the way they're supposed to be stretching. It's like pulling all up the back of my head though, it's really very uncomfortable, but I know that it's good for it. Um, so basically, yeah, that's, that's the update. I can't remember what it's called, it's a condition that's got a name that I can't remember wasn't very catchy but um I'm gonna also start an apomorphine the injectable apomorphine um so I'm gonna go and kind of have tests for that I've had my tests for that to check that I'll be okay like my heart's good and you know bloods are all good and everything with that all being well I can start on it and I have to go and have like a master class to go and see whether it'll actually work and whether I'll take to it and whether I can do it myself whether I can inject it so um that's kind of progress that'll be on top of my other meds and then we can see whether I can reduce any of the other ones down. Apomorphine is good because it doesn't have such bad side effects as some of the other meds um, and you can take it just before you go into a meeting so or something and it'll like literally work in like five minutes I think for about an hour. It's like a really good quick fix but um yeah it's kind of nice to see my head in the right angle but it's making me feel really disorientated when I walk around so I'm still using the old neck brace for walking around everywhere because I feel like suddenly my um, viewpoint has shifted and I feel really like dizzy and a bit sick when I walk around so uh, that's not ideal but yeah so hopefully we'll get some progress made with these new things and I can get my neck back to normal